Um, when I first found out I was pregnant, I cried. Um, I did. I was a little perplexed because I didn't know that it was that I just didn't know. I was like, wait a minute, what? I couldn't believe that that was actually the news that was being brought to me. Um, I wasn't sad or depressed crying. It's just like a shock and just a lot of a mixture of, of emotions, maybe a little sadness, but just a lot of mixture of emotions um, at, that, at that time. I feel really nice about that about that I'm going to be a big brother someday, and I've been really praying for this. <laughs> well, I was very shocked. And I didn't get it because she gave me some, like, I don't know, I think she said something like she's going to have a guest or a visitor for in a couple months, and I said something silly like, Girl, you don't need no roommate. What you talking about? We too old for roommates. So I didn't really get it at first. And then she repeated it and I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, um, I was very surprised. Hey guys, my name's Darla. I am uh, Summer's best friend. We've been friends for more than 20 years. Um, and I am God Mommy. So um, I met Summer tw over 20 years ago. We first met in, I want to say a math class, maybe sophomore year. Uh, she had just moved from Chicago, so um i probably was one of her first friends here in houston um i don't know when we met in math class we honestly had a instant uh connection and we just have been cool ever since she really honestly uh she's my ride or die and i could say i'm the same for her so we've just remained close and i love her like a sister Junior year English. It was. It wasn't math. Are no, you sure? Senior year, wasn't it? We no, we had math. a math, We had an English class. I think junior Jun year. Either we had that English class senior year where we had Cal and Quentin. But I met you sophomore year, right? It was No, I came junior year. You met me oh, junior oops. year. And we did See, that's why I don't want to talk about all that. I remember being young and telling my mother that I felt like God made me or put me on this planet to be a mother. I did. I remember telling her that uh, when I was younger. I wanted like seven, eight kids growing up. And my sister makes fun of me all the time about it. And she's like, doesn't nobody have seven, eight kids but a cat. But I did. I wanted seven, eight kids. God seen fit for two. And he probably really blessed me with that because the one is is enough. But yeah, I wanted to be a mother. I've always wanted to have a big family and Sunday dinners and be a Medea and all of that stuff. I think I'm having a girl. Um, it's completely opposite of what I experienced with DJ, and I'm very emotional. I'm not a crybaby. I'm a crybaby now. Um, I just feel in my spirit that I'm having a girl, but if it's a boy, I'm cool with that too. It doesn't really matter to me. I just really want something. But I think it's a girl. It better be a girl. <laughs> it's just says this is it now. Just come on. Give me the girl, give me the boy. Sarah, Sarah. I don't know. I mean, I'm used to it because I've, I've always thought that I would always have all boys because my, my sisters have all boys. And then my grandma, she has all boys. Their boys have girls. And their girls have boys with the exception of Courtney. So 
I figured I would always have boys, but I do. I, I honestly think this is a girl. I do. I just really want to know what it is. All right, I got some names. Autumn is my girl name because my name is Summer, and I'm, I love my name. Shout out to my mama and my daddy. I was going to name my baby Summer, but the dad was like, no. And um, if it's a boy, we do D's because my mother's name is Deborah. So we're going to keep the D name. So it's going to be either Dalen or Dash. And y'all can give me suggestions as well, too. Y'all send good vibes for a girl, please. And to all my family and friends in Chicago and even the ones in Houston that I haven't had a chance to see because of the coronavirus, I really miss you guys. I miss getting together with everybody. I want to come home, but it probably can't. And just thank you, Harvey and Darla, which are the godparents, of course, for everything that you guys um, do. Thanks for my little virtual reveal. And thanks to Trina, cause she calls me all the time and wanna know what I wanna eat. And she let me grab, moan and complain and stuff. And my mama, cause Lord have mercy. I know I didn't ran her blood pressure up. So I love you guys and thank you for tuning in. Congratulations, Auntie. I hope it's a boy. Also, the time we could make it, and we love you. Love you. Congratulations, Summer. Can't wait to see my new grandson. Congratulations. Sorry, we can't be there, but we will be, we'll there. be there soon. Love you. It's a boy. <laughs> I'm having another son. Oh, I knew it was a girl. I knew it was a girl. I knew it was a girl. But I'm blessed with another son, and they love their mamas. DJ's awesome to me. He's very loving and kind and understanding and comforting and keeps me on my toes. And I should have known because my sisters have nothing but sons. I have, I'm having a boy. A boy. I feel nice because I have somebody to play with at least. And well, I'm just happy that I finally got somebody to play with. When I found out the sex of the baby, I was excited. I knew that uh, deep down Summer <laughs> wanted a girl. So I had to like really figure out how I wasn't gonna give her any clues or let it slip. Um, but I was excited. Um, I knew that she was having a boy even though she kept saying it, like even before I saw it in the envelope, I knew that she was gonna have another boy. I really like Dash because it's, it's just cute. It's a cute little name. Um, I, I like that name. I like the name. But again, it's Dash and Dalen. If you guys have any other D names, it would be greatly appreciated for my son. 
Um, so yeah, guys, I'm having a boy. Hooray! Yay! Boy. I'm having a boy. <laughs> so, thanks again to everybody for tuning in. And just special shout out again to my family and my loved ones, my daddy, my son, godparents, best friends, siblings, mama, aunties, uncles, and prayers. So, bye. <laughs> Pardon words for summer is get ready because these new school babies are completely different from an old school baby. So, uh... Make sure you get you one of those nice little uh, baby bassinets and keep it close to your bed. And once the baby's big enough, put them in their own room. <laughs> Keyword, own room. <laughs>